Abdul Rahman Mustafa Kabisa, Associated Press, cameraman at the north of the West Bank. From this tube, you see? From this tube? Yes, it's behind us. And usually when there is uh, stone throwers, they only use uh, tear gas or uh, rubber bullets. Most of the time. You see? Of course, if the tank is not here, nobody will throw stones. So the tank and the ABC kill. And you see, people now, the number even growing up because, you know, uh, the rest of the people uh, hearing the, 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 the bullets, the, the sound of the bullets, and then they start, you know, the number start growing up, growing up, growing up. And, uh, they say all of us to leave. He asking us to leave. Musawreen, journalists, cameramen, go, go away from here. He got out of his jeep and he hit you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he got out from the jeep. He came to me very harsh, very fast, and he used his leg like this. He hit me on my left leg here. And he pushed me twice, so I tried to protect myself. I put my hands in his chest and I pushed him. I said, go away from here. I'm not disturbing you. I'm doing my job. Go do your job. I'm not disturbing you. Don't disturb me, please. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Then he went uh, again to his jeep and uh, left the area. But you know, I'm scared. Really, I'm really scared because I'm sure this officer uh, going to tell to tell all his colleagues about what happened. They will uh, know my name and they will uh, start following me everywhere. And what I'm afraid of that I don't want to be targeted from them. What that means? He knows my name. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, police quarters. <laughs> it's a part of my job to face all these difficulties. Part. Something basic in my job to, 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 to face all these difficulties. If I want to give up for them, so I'm not a journalist. I should go home and stay, uh, and stay home. And I'll, I'll, I must not say any, anything. Any <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not scared. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm nervous. I'm nervous because that people don't need to do that, and they do that. Okay, so just relax. It's a peaceful demonstration. <laughs> 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 For me, I'm talking about myself. I'm, I'm carrying the camera on my shoulder. I should be you know, like, I don't care who's, who's in front of the camera. The Syrians or the Israelis, I should at least have the fact, film the fact. So this is sometimes, you know, makes problems for you from both sides, the Syrians and the Israelis. So sometimes we are with the Palestinians suffering from this point because they said that we are filming this and taking the pictures to the Israelis. I am, they plan us as, as uh, collaborators in some harm. And the Israelis, at the same time, we're facing this at, at the checkpoints and everywhere. In, any time we have a discussion with any soldier, he say, ah, you are not neutral, you are trying to make our picture in the world shit. As Israelis, we are democracy. We, we. So we're suffering from this point from both sides. Uh, I got respect. Yeah. So do you feel like somehow it's your duty to do this job? Yeah, it's... Kind of, yeah, yeah, it's, it's my duty to the people in the world see all the Palestinians suffering from the occupation. And uh, to be brave, we are feeling in, 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 to, uh, feeling in uh, like a war who may be targeted by the Israelis, by the soldiers, because they don't want uh, 
the fact to be uh, transmitted or uh, spread all over the world and they know that the Brazilians the most people whom are ready to risk themselves to cover this to go inside the very bad or the very dark places like the old city to cover this uh, confrontation Look, look, this stuff. The Israeli army getting into the old cities. As a reaction of the, the last suicide or suicide operation in oh, Jerusalem. I don't know, they're searching from house to another, uh, trying to arrest some wanted people. As you see, since, uh, that's all what happened. And we're following them. We're trying to, to do our job as, as, as well as, as always. That's it, clear. Uh, my name is Rick Loomis. I'm a photographer with the Los Angeles Times. And uh, I guess if you're, if you're regarding the journalists from, from Nablus, uh, I've been talking about them. I've been here about three weeks and I've been talking about them since I've been here, how incredibly brave and how incredibly um, strong they are. I've seen in the short time I've been here, I've just seen them stand there firm five in a row against uh, Israeli gunmen who are telling them to move and they just hold firm. They're incredibly, uh, incredibly brave. I have a lot of respect for them admire them a lot. I think a lot of the news from these areas would not come out if it weren't for them. My last words for my, my colleagues everywhere in this world, first of all to take care and to, to support their colleagues here in, in Palestine. And I hope for everybody uh, to succeed and to, to, to and do his job safety and go back to his family, kids. Uh, I don't want anyone to be missed from, from his kids or his uh, family, like what happened with my colleague Nazi and uh, other colleagues from Hebron, from, even from Rome, from Italy. We, we lost one in Ramallah. So, inshallah, everybody uh, try to do his job honestly and Excuse me for the word, I don't give a fuck uh, of uh, any of you and if you will uh, picture us, uh, if, I, if I think your picture will not be what I want, I will take your camera.